Samadov. Uh, Elsevier Samadov, um, Elsevier Samadov studied bachelor and master's degree in faculty of theology at Baku State University. In 2002, he started his PhD in the Institute of Social Sciences of Marmara University in Turkey, as well as completed his dissertation of religious education in Azerbaijan in 2006. In this period, he worked as a researcher in Islamic Research Center, concentrating mostly on Sufi traditions in Istanbul. Thereafter, he worked in the Institute of Philosophy of the National Academy of Sciences of Azerbaijan and Baku International Multiculturalism Center. Moreover, he worked as a lecturer on history of philosophy, philosophy of religion, history of religions and religious ethics in different universities. He is as well as author of five books and more than 60 articles. He works devoted mostly in philosoph uh, philosophical problems of religions, religious and postmodern uh, ethics. Elsevier Melim, please. Hello. Hello. Hi, Elsevier Melim. It's okay, again. Uh, I am greeting everybody. Thanks so much uh, for this opportunity. Uh, I am greeting all uh, participants uh, in this uh, webinar. Uh, thanks so much for Freedom Bay, uh, Alasoli, uh, and other participants. Uh, I, uh, I think so. It, this webinar really uh, very, very useful. Uh, I'm uh, proud for this. Uh, today, uh, I, uh, my speech about the uh, Gregorian Church and it is a connection with uh, Caucasus Albania. Because I am a professor on religious studies, uh, I think that it is my topic, uh, because I have to talk about the uh, um, uh, Al uh, Armenian church, uh, which uh, called the uh, uh, Gregorian church. Uh, first one, I want to, to give uh, some more uh, information about the Armenian church. What's the Armenian church? Uh, What's the differences uh, with another urban churches? And uh, the Armenian uh, church is uh, considered in monophysite uh, church. Uh, Armenian church uh, differs from other monophysite churches that uh, the Armenians claim that they were enlightened by uh, Tadeus and Bartimaeus and they converted the Christianity under leadership uh, Saint uh, uh, Gregory in the uh, beginning of the uh, uh, 4th century. They claim that Georgian, uh, Gregorian church has apostolic character. Armenians believe that uh, Saint Gregor has built the Etmiazin and managed this church by himself 25 years. Uh, and uh, after his uh, this Etmiazin ruler passed it on his son and the family, uh, and all this, uh, I want to say that uh, Armenian lies because uh, everybody knows that Etmiazin and other one Armenian churches today situated in Western Azerbaijan, uh, which we call today is Armenia. Uh, all this uh, uh, actually uh, uh, Albanian origin uh, churches. And uh, uh, especially, I want to. Uh, uh, stay on uh, who is uh, Saint uh, Gregory because it is so important. Uh, I should note that Saint Gregory, who, who is considered the founder of the Armenian Church, was in fact the person who accepted Christianity, including Turkish historian uh, uh, Abdurham, uh, Professor Abdurrahman Kuchik and other historians emphasized that he is a person with a Kupchak origin. Therefore, on this religious and the philosophical basis of Gregorianism, is it possible to absorb the elements of uh, the Turic peoples? For this reason, uh, uh, Gregorianism is not Armenian phenomenon. Gregorianism belongs to Caucasus, Albania, and today is the followers, uh, especially Udin uh, churches. We know that there is uh, around the 7,000 uh, Udin people. Today, uh, they also follow the uh, Gregorianism. But uh, unfortunately, Armenian, uh, you know, uh, say that the uh, Gregorianism uh, belongs to Armenians, but it is not true. Uh, we can see all historical facts 
uh, including the started from the ancient uh, Arabic uh, resources uh, to, uh, to these uh, uh, historical facts. Uh, for example, uh, for understanding this issue, we have to uh, stay uh, words on Armenia. What does this mean? It means that the place where lives a real man, in, uh, if uh, translate is Azerbaijan, uh, Turk, uh, Turkish. Uh, it, uh, for example, uh, Arabian historians at Tabari, in his book, uh, at the Tariq at Tabari, they are talking about that Azerbaijan, uh, historical Albania, divided two parts. It's the first part, Iran, another one part, Armenia. Uh, Iran, we know everybody, today is Azerbaijan, especially Muhammad, this, this area, and Armenia, it is uh, this area. Uh, is uh, Western Azerbaijan, including the, uh, today's Armenia and uh, uh, Southern uh, Georgia, which we call this uh, Borchale. Uh, and uh, especially in Western part of Albania, Armenia, uh, live the Gupchak Turks tribes. In ancient time, we can uh, read uh, all historical books, Musa Kalanka, another one. Uh, historical uh, resources, we can see this uh, also through Dumbe, uh, uh, emphasized this uh, fact that Azerbaijani Turkey people live the all time history in Azerbaijan uh, territory in uh, Albania. Uh, and uh, uh, Turk, uh, uh, unfortunately, all these Turk tribes accepted uh, Gregorian Christianity and by the Time, these two tribes became Armenians because uh, high people uh, moved uh, from uh, historical uh, western part of Anatolia to Azerbaijan. And after this, they mixed with the uh, uh, local uh, people in Karabakh, today's Karabakh. And after this, uh, these uh, Christian uh, Gupchats also uh, accepted Armenian. Uh, no, uh, Gregorians, and they by the time assimilated. assimilated. Uh, and today uh, we can see all their uh, books, all their culture, language, uh, name is uh, Gupchak, Azer uh, Azerbaijani, uh, uh, the facts that they are Armenian, uh, uh, was a very influenced by Azerbaijani history. And uh, in addition, uh, both uh, we, uh, we know that both Catholic, uh, Catholicism and Orthodox Christians didn't accept the Armenian uh, Gregorian Church and always put a pressure on them. This situation uh, lasted until the Turk conquered Anatolia after victory of Malaz Malazgir. After that, Turks uh, took the Armenians under the protection, and thus the Armenian the Georgian Church was able to continue its existence. When Fatih Sultan Mehmed uh, conquered Istanbul, he established the Armenian Patriarch in Istanbul in uh, 1461. Despite all the benefits as a result of a secret activities of the missionaries, and Armenians recognized revolt uh, against the Turks and always betrayed them closely assisted occupying enemies. In, in fact, the, uh, Gregorianism is not uh, issue related to Armenia. Gregorianism as a name of Christian sect that spread in Caucasia or Albania. It should be noted that Christianity uh, has had a great influence on whole Caucasus and Albania. They are apostles, but they spread Christianity to Albania. In fact, in the beginning of the fourth century, uh, the ruler of Albania Urnayer declared the Christianity the uh, state religion of a country. For this uh, time, Christ, uh, Christians tried to spread Christianity in uh, these areas by built churches and monasteries. These uh, churches and the monasteries can be found all over the Caucasus uh, in the present day, Azerbaijan, Armenia, and Georgia. I, I want to emphasize that, especially I am uh, originally from Borchale. Uh, district of the Manisi. In our villages, there is uh, uh, in uh, altogether three churches. It's all Albanian churches. We can uh, say that, uh, unfortunately, so I won't say that uh, we have to uh, propagandize all the world that uh, as Albanian history, Albanian heritage belong only to Azerbaijani people. Uh, we have to uh, uh, write books, propagandize 
like today, uh, make some big conferences, webinars, I don't know. Uh, thanks so much for your uh, yeah, participation. Uh, my pleasure for everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Elsevier Bay. Thank you very much. We, we appreciate you. Thank you for coming and accepting our invitation. Thank you.